hot and dry weather is well on its way, and here in CUNA also comes concerns of wildfires. I'm your CUNA neighborhood reporter Brady Kasky at the CUNA Library, where Idaho Power held an informational meeting to address wildfire danger, their public safety power shutoff program, and how it could impact the people of CUNA. So we're here in CUNA tonight to talk to our customers in this area about what we're doing for wildfire mitigation and also to help them prepare for the potential of outages. John Axman is the Director of Wildfire Mitigation and Transmission and Distribution Engineering for Idaho Power. He tells me that CUNA is one of the areas Idaho Power serves that is susceptible to wildfires. Really what makes CUNA unique is that there are some areas where our modeling show the potential for elevated wildfire risk. And we want our customers to know the steps we're taking to decrease risk and how to be prepared for the potential of PSPS. PSPS or public safety power shutoff means that Idaho Power could proactively cut power at times this summer when there's a high risk for wildfires to start. On days when the wildfire potential is high, we'll change our sensitivity settings. That's how our system operates during that time uh, to operate in a more sensitive state. John tells me that this is the third year Idaho Power will run the program, although the company has never had to call a public safety power shutoff event. We had 50 strike teams, which is 300 fire trucks. There was basically a fire truck in front of every house. Rick Ward has experience with wildfires from his time in Northern California. He tells me that he is happy to see programs like this from Idaho Power. They're making steps to prevent the kind of problems that I've experienced, so I appreciate that. Ted Vanderskoff is a dairy farmer in CUNA who spoke out at the meeting sharing concerns for his animals. I don't want to be shutting off huge swaths of farm ground. I don't want to be shutting off dairy operations if it's, if it's unnecessary. He tells me that not knowing how long the power could be cut concerns him. That's the biggest fear here is right now is at least kind of the fear of the unknown. I don't know what we're getting into here and I'm afraid about things that I've heard in other states and the extended periods of time that their power was off. When I read that PSPS, I'm going, well, that sounds inconvenient. And then I, the more I think about it, it's like, well, it's really, it's really smart. It's, it's, I think it's, it's wise to make these kind of precautionary programs. Idaho Power says that the best thing you can do in preparation for a power shutoff is make sure that your contact information is up to date so that they can reliably contact you. You can update your information and find maps of areas that would be impacted from an event like this on their website at IdahoPower.com. Reporting in CUNA, I'm your neighborhood reporter Brady Kasky for Idaho News 6.